On the third day of Richard Shankman's trial on kidnapping and arson charges, Shankman's ex-wife, Nancy Tyler, took the stand. Describing how Shankman kidnapped her from a Hartford parking garage and held her hostage in their South Windsor home. He came out of nowhere um, in back of me to the right and um, grabbed me and said something about, I want to talk. And I said, Richard, get away from me. And I turned to look at him, and he had a gun in his hand, in his right hand. Tyler described how they got into her car outside her office in Hartford on July 7, 2009, and drove to the house in South Windsor. My ex-husband said to me, don't make any signals, don't say anything, don't try to get any help. I'm here behind you. I'll shoot you where you sit. She went on to tell how an enraged Shankman responded during a phone call to a negotiator when police would not provide a copy of their hostage negotiation manual. You're not listening, send me the manual or she's going to die. And the gun to, gun to my head, I believe he, he had it to the top of my head and he was screaming at them, send the manual or she's going to die. And he, was, he started counting down at that point. If you don't get that manual here, she dies when I finish. And they eventually faxed the manual. According to Tyler, Shankman became even angrier when police sent a robot to the door. At that point, he said, this is it. I'm done with you. We're going down in the bunker. This is it. It's all over. It's over for you, and this is over. She described how Shankman dragged her to a basement storage room he called the bunker. He took me by the, by the handcuff and dragged me over to the far wall, the wall farthest away from the door, and um, handcuffed me. There was an eye bolt in the wall, and he handcuffed me the, to the eye bolt, and I was screaming at that point, saying, please don't, please don't, Richard. Tyler then explained how she escaped, pulling the bolt out of the wall when Shankman left the room. I stopped at the door, and I remember thinking, is it going to blow? I either go die with a gun to my head, or I go out the door and I die, or maybe I don't. And I opened the door, and I stood there for a minute to try to see what I could see, and I ran across the yard, and I couldn't see anybody or anything. It was just deserted, and there was a chain link fence, and I started climbing up the chain link fence, and all of a sudden, there was a SWAT officer there, and he grabbed me and he said, come with me. And he said, get low and run. And we both squatted down and we ran across the yard, a couple of yards, to someone's garage. And then we stopped. During his cross-examination of Tyler, defense attorney Hugh Keefe began laying the groundwork for his defense that Shankman was mentally ill at the time. And you felt um, in July uh, 09, ma'am, that every time Richard felt that he was not in control or his demands were not being met, he became crazy. He acted crazy, yes, absolutely. But Tyler told the prosecutor that Shankman had yes, intentionally had. acted crazy in the past. On numerous occasions, he told me that that was... He had learned over time that the crazier he acted, the more he got his way. And at one point we talked about um, he had a number of lawsuits going on, and I asked him, how do you handle these things? How is it that they always just go away? And he said, because I act crazy and they give up. 